not what I had in mind when you said we should hit the town. This might be a late night. Sorry, I'm late. The curls were not cooperating this morning. I hope you had a light breakfast. Oh, no, I had pancakes and sausage. And it's my girlfriend. She could summon the power of any animal. It's up to us to protect this city. From now on, I only do date night and tactical games. Go ahead, fire away. The weight of the whole city falls on my shoulders. Has everybody lost their mind? Hey, what's up, guys? This is Vic, and I'm back with another video today on the Super Season trailer for the CW shows. Now, as you might know, um, I'm going to touch on some things here. Not entirely everything because some things pretty much can go without saying. But the major things I'm definitely going to speak on. So, uh, I'm going to go with, go with Barry Allen first because that, that's that's big. I, obviously, huge Flash fan, so that's pretty big there. So, um, we get Barry Allen walking with Captain Singh who hasn't been around for a while. And Joe, when he mentions what he had for breakfast now, I don't know if Barry's drunk. High, disoriented, um, some, some type of un control by the thinker, or you know, the side effects of that, or he's fresh off the speed force and uh, he just lost it. But that was relatively weird, a weird side of Barry. Um, also, you also see a shot of Barry and Iris. I believe that's Iris sitting down. He's talking about the weight of you know everything on his shoulders, and it pretty, looks pretty. Um, I'm gonna say upset, but pretty you know, like an emotional state there a serious conversation they're having now we do know um we get a di different barry allen as they mentioned before during comic con um now barry still wants to help people at his core because that's who barry allen was before the speed force and that's who barry allen is after the speed force but it's important to know that um he might not necessarily want to be the flash when he comes right out of the speed force he also has some other issues he has to work with the Iris, obviously, with him just leaving and abandoning her. So I'm sure they'll be touching that. So that might be a minor story or for the first few episodes. Or episodes would have to have that talk and work through things to get things up and running. You know, a little minor story there. Also, later in the trailer, we get a shot of Deathstroke, I believe. What is also um, him on Lee and you in the aftermath of that. And he probably says to Team Arrow, okay, look. Enough of the lovey-dovey stuff. You guys go your way. I'm going to go my way. You know, everything's not going to be all right, whatever. But, you know, we just now we, you know, we're cool. We're good now. No beef. I'm going to do my thing. You do yours. Like, you go that way. I go this way. And he's just taking in everything, the whole aftermath of everything that happened after the whole Lee and you explosion. Also, another big thing here. We see uh, Nate um, having a conversation with someone not entirely sure with Jack's behind him. And Nate's referring to um, Dixon and her the power she possesses. Now, it's, it's big. This is big here because we know um, before Legends ended, season two, Nate broke down to Amaya everything about her, um, her future and everything, and how everything, how her village and everything was not destroyed, and her ancestor later on popping up on Arrow season. What was that season four? Arrow season four with um, Damian Dark and helping Oliver out take take him down. So. With that being said, I mean I don't know if they're you know you know remaking history, or he's trying to change essentially change it, and mold into something different to where the point where she doesn't have to die, or I'm, I'm not sure how they're gonna play that out with the whole you know remaking history thing entirely. I'm not entirely sure about that, but I guess we have to wait and see. But that is a, a major thing there. Also, we get a shot of the Reverse Flash, um, and I don't know nobody would throw that in there essentially unless you know a little tip of the hat like hey you know. At some point in time, we're gonna reel him back. We're gonna reel him back in because obviously we know him being a living paradox. If he was actually in the Speed Force, um, when there's other, all the other, you know, uh, Reverse Flashes died in the end of Legends, then we know he'll be coming back. That might be essentially one way Speed Force is a save for for that. We also here see a shot of Maggie and uh, Alex right strolling the car, discussing the relationship while on the job. But uh, some people, Supergirl fans, are you know talking about Cat Grant being in the White House now. 
This is important. This is pretty big here because we know um, seeing that since Supergirl left and went to the CW, they um, also shooting locations have changed, so they're no longer in the same place. With that being said, um, she decided she didn't want to be a series regular anymore because she didn't want to relocate. So her leaving and, and, and leave at the end of season two and her popping up at the White House um, is no, you know, surprise. Anyway, it makes sense. Her off doing other things, she doesn't have to be on the show, and she can pop up here and there when they need her for the major stuff. But it's not like a, you know, okay, we got to relocate the whole family and everything else. So while most of the cast, you know, we're happy with doing doing what they did, you know, she declined. Well, guys, uh, that's all I got for now. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.